2022 has definitely been an action-packed year for Brazil. In October, citizens hit the polls to decide one of the tightest presidential elections in the country's democratic history, and just a month later, they were cheering for Brazil in the World Cup. Welcome to Brazil Rewind, a series of videos recapping all the most important stories in Brazil this year. Today, we're talking about sport. And yes, there's a lot more to talk about than just football. While most attention is on the World Cup, today we'd like to talk about the other sports that represent how successful Brazil can be. And while we don't yet know whether Brazil will win the World Cup in December, two Brazilian athletes already became world champions this year. On November 3rd, 23-year-old gymnast Hebeca Andrade won gold at the World Artistics Gymnastics Championships in Liverpool, making her the world's best gymnast in activity. Hebeca shone during the 2020 Olympics, winning two medals, gold and silver. Her choreographed routine made headlines in Brazil for her choice of music, the Brazilian funk hit Baile de Favela by Amy C. João. Many praised her for representing a music style that was born in the favelas in a sport that rarely celebrates popular culture. And just three days later, teenage Brazilian skateboarder Raissa Leal also became the best in the world in her sport. She won the Super Crown, bringing her up to first place in the Street League rankings. Along with Hebeca Andrade, Raissa Leal was one of the most celebrated athletes in the last Olympics, especially for her life story. Nicknamed the Little Fairy, she became famous at just seven years old when a video of her practicing skateboarding in a fairy costume went viral back in 2015. The video became such a success that she got the chance to meet skateboarding legend Tony Hawk, and just five years later, she won her first Olympic medal, winning a silver and becoming Brazil's youngest Olympic medalist by some distance at just 13 years old. As Brazilian athletes have had such an excellent 2022, could that be a good omen for the men's national football team in the World Cup? Brazil are the favourites to win the tournament, but there's still a long way to go to find out whether the country will win a record sixth World Cup title. Like, share and subscribe for more videos on everything Brazil.